At number 10, Jay Pickett. Soap opera actor Jay Pickett, known for his time on General Hospital, passed away on July 30th of this year at the age of 60. Jay was a soap opera legend, having been part of the cast of a number of shows like Days of Our Lives, where he played Dr. Chip Latkin, Fort Charles, and obviously General Hospital, where he portrayed the character Detective David Harper. The most recent project Jay was working on was a film called Treasure Valley, but sadly, the actor passed away during the project's filming. Jay's passing came suddenly and tragically as a producer for Jay's upcoming film released a statement following the actor's death that said, quote, Many of you already heard about the tragedy that happened two days ago. Jay Pickett, our leading man, writer, producer, and creator of this movie, passed away suddenly while we were on location preparing to film a scene, end quote. There was no official cause of death released at the time, but it is believed that the actor passed away due to a sudden heart attack. In the producer's statement, they elaborated on how hard they tried to keep Jay with us, saying, quote, Everyone present tried as hard as they could to keep him alive. Our hearts are broken and we grieve for his family who are so devastated stated by the shocking tragedy. Jay's passing has been felt heavily by fans of his work, so he surely will not be forgotten. At number 9, Robert Downey Sr. Robert Downey Sr., father of Marvel actor Robert Downey Jr., passed away peacefully in his sleep on July 7, 2021 after a long battle with Parkinson's disease. Robert Downey Sr. was known as a pioneer of the underground film scene in New York City in the 1960s. He got his first big break with the film Putney Swope, and this put him on the map, set him up for success, and from then on, he became a legend in the film industry both as an actor and director. His success later continued into the 70s and 80s as he worked on projects like The Twilight Zone, Matlock, To Live and Die in LA, Boogie Nights, and Magnolia. But other than growing his own success, he also aided in the growth and success of others, most notably his son, who began acting alongside him in the early days of his own career. Robert Downey Jr. released a statement following his father's passing, informing the world of the tragedy the Downey family was facing on his Instagram, where he said, quote, Last night, Dad passed away peacefully in his sleep after years of enduring the ravages of Parkinson's. He was a true maverick, filmmaker, and remained remarkably optimistic throughout. According to my stepmom's calculations, they were happily married for just over 2,000 years. Rosemary Rogers Downey, you are a saint, and our thoughts and prayers are with you." End quote. Now before I carry on the list, I would like to ask you guys to leave a comment down below sending a positive message for the families on this list. Losing a loved one is never easy, so let's send them some positive energy their way. At number 8, Sonny Chiba. Actor and martial artist Sonny Chiba recently passed away on August 19th of this year at the age of 80. Sunny was known as one of the first Japanese actors to gain international notoriety for his martial arts skills. Before he became famous in American cinema, Sunny first got his big break in Japan in the 1960s, portraying samurai, police detectives, and quote, anti heroes trying to survive in a violent world, all while doing his own stunts. It wasn't until the film Street Fighter hit American cinemas that Sunny's career in the US started to take off. He attracted the attention of director Quentin Tarantino, and the actor was later cast in the film Kill Bill. From then, Sunny went on to start in films like Aces and even made an appearance in the film Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Sonny brought popularity to martial arts style films, and he will certainly be remembered for that, along with all of his talent and skill. At number 7, Kevin Clark. If you were a fan of the 2003 movie School of Rock, then you are probably among those who are devastated to hear about the sudden passing of one of the film's stars, Kevin Clark. Kevin, who played the character Freddie Jones, aka Spaz McGee, passed away on May 26th of this year at the age of only 32 years old after being involved in a tragic accident. According to news reports, Kevin had been riding his bike in the Chicago neighborhood in the early hours of the morning when he was struck by a vehicle. The actor was later rushed to hospital but sadly didn't make it. Kevin's death hit his family very hard because it was so sudden and so unexpected and because he reportedly finally got into a good place in his life. When making a statement about Kevin's passing, the actor's mother told sources, quote, He told his bandmates just yesterday, you know, this is finally the life I want to live and we're going to make it. You're my musical family, my family, and we're all going to make it, end quote. Kevin had just started a new band and they performed for the first time on the weekend before he passed. Before this band, he was known for forming other musical groups and writing songs and teaching kids about music. His love for music and his drumming skills are actually what led him to getting the role in School of Rock, even though he had no prior acting experience. Kevin was an incredibly talented man who has certainly gone too soon. At number 6, Sean Connery. Sir Sean Connery was best known for his incredible talent, especially for playing the unforgettable and iconic James Bond. He was the first actor to bring the iconic character to life and starred in a total of 7 Bond films. His successful career career spanned over 70 years, and he even earned an Academy Award in 1988 for his role in The Untouchables. Sadly, the actor passed away on October 31st, 2020 in his sleep while in his home in the Bahamas. The Scottish actor was surrounded by his family at the time of his passing. His talent and refinement as an actor defined an era and a style in the film industry, and the unforgettable charm and charisma that he portrayed on screen is something that defined his career in Hollywood. Sean was an inspiration to so many performers, forging a path for so many other talented people to make their way to Hollywood to try and achieve the same infamy 
me as Connery. At number five, Cicely Tyson. After having a career that spanned over 70 years, renowned actress and black icon Cicely Tyson passed away on January 28th, 2021, at the age of 96. Cicely was best known for her portrayal of strong black women in TV and film. The actress became a beloved Hollywood icon through her work as an actress, model, and author. And at the beginning of 2021, Cicely published a memoir titled Just As I Am, where she shared the story of her life, how she became who she was, and how she was a pioneering force in shaping history. Cicely first started her public career as a model, later transitioning into the performing arts, making her way to Broadway, where she acted alongside other talented people like James Earl Jones and Louis Gossett. In the 1960s, Cicely launched herself into a hugely successful TV and movie career, where she made a point of prioritizing roles that quote, showed the full lived experiences of black Americans. Tyson later continued her career into the 70s, where she starred in the hugely successful series Roots, and later starred in more modern shows like How to Get Away with Murder. Other than her film and TV awards and nominations, Cicely also became a Kennedy Center honoree and was given the Presidential Medal of Freedom by Barack Obama in 2016. Cicely leaves behind an incredible legacy, making her a good role model for a lot of young black kids everywhere. At number four, Nick Cordero. Nick Cordero was a talented actor who found a lot of success in all sorts of creative avenues. Nick made waves in TV and movies as he played characters in productions like Blue Bloods, Law and & Order, and Momtown, and on Broadway where he appeared in shows like Rock of Ages and Waitress. Sadly, Nick passed away in 2020 at the age of only 41 after a long and difficult battle with COVID. Nick's wife, Amanda Kloos, shared his grueling COVID journey with their followers and kept them updated on his health until the end. There were a lot of complications and sadly he lost his battle, but Amanda now uses her husband's tragic story to advocate for COVID safety and to warn others about the consequences that this pandemic can bring. Nick leaves behind his wife, Amanda, and their young son, Elvis. The actor was taken far too soon as he had so much more creative potential and he will be terribly missed. At number three, Samuel E. Wright. If you're a fan of Disney animation, then you no doubt know the voice of Samuel E. Wright, best known for playing Sebastian the Crab in the Disney animated film, The Little Mermaid. Though this role is what brought him the most fame, Samuel wasn't just known for his Disney role, as some may know him from playing Dizzy Gillespie in Clint Eastwood's Bird, as well as his role in a series of Fruit of the Loom commercials. Samuel began his career on Broadway, making his debut in Jesus Christ Superstar in 1971, and later going on to play Mufasa in The Lion King on Broadway in 1997. As I mentioned, his best known role is for playing Sebastian in The Little Mermaid, and this role is what he's most remembered for. He performed the songs Under the Sea, which won an Oscar for Best Original Song, and Kiss the Girl in the film. Samuel would later go on to talk about his dream to be very successful in Hollywood, where he said, quote, Maybe not every actor would say this, but if I didn't want to be immortal, I wouldn't be acting. I do want to make my little mark on the world. An actor's worst nightmare is to hear 10 years from now, Sam Wright, who was Sam Wright. If you have that kind of attitude, you tend to take each role and make it the best role you've ever done. End quote. Samuel passed away on May 24th, 2021, at the age of 74, after a three year battle with prostate cancer. At number two, Helen McCroy. Harry Potter fans were devastated to hear about the passing of actress Helen McCroy, who fans recognize as the talented woman who played Narcissa Malfoy in the Harry Potter franchise. Helen sadly passed away on April 16th, 2021, at the age of 52, after a difficult battle with cancer. Her acting career first began when she started performing at London's West End, before jumping into the film and television industry, where she would go on to star in production like Harry Potter, of course, as well as Peaky Blinders, The Queen, Interview with a Vampire, and Casanova. Upon her passing, Helen's husband released an emotional statement which read, quote, I'm heartbroken to announce that after a heroic battle with cancer, the beautiful and mighty woman that is Helen McCroy has died peacefully at home, surrounded by a wave of love from friends and family. She died as she lived, fearlessly. God, we love her and know how lucky we are to have had her in our lives. She blazed so brightly. Go on now, little one, into the air, and thank you. Helen leaves behind her husband, Damian Lewis, as well as their two children. And finally, at number one, Dustin Diamond. Fans of the hit 90s show Saved by the Bell were devastated to hear of the passing of actor Dustin Diamond earlier this year. Dustin, who played Samuel Powers, aka Screech on the show, captivated audiences during its run between 1989 and 1992. Dustin, who was only 44 at the time of his passing, lost his battle with stage four lung cancer on February 1st, 2021. Fans learned of Dustin's cancer diagnosis just three weeks before the actor passed away. After his passing, Dustin's representative issued a statement to fans as well as to the press, where they said, quote, he was diagnosed with this brutal, relentless form of malignant cancer only three weeks ago. In that time, it managed to spread rapidly through his system. The only mercy it exhibited was its sharp and swift execution. Dustin did not suffer. He did not have to lie submerged in pain. For that, we are grateful, end quote. The source also said that Dustin passed with his girlfriend by his side and was surrounded by love, which is really all you can ask for at a moment like this. At number 10, Naya Rivera. Former Glee star Naya Rivera passed away last summer in July 2020 at the age of 
was 33 years old. Naya's death was the result of an accidental drowning after swimming in a dangerous area. On that day, Naya and her son were enjoying a nice day out on the boat when they decided to go swimming. The area in which they were had been reported to have difficult swimming conditions, and so when Naya was trying to save her son and get him back to their boat, she ran out of energy and couldn't keep herself afloat in the water. She mustered up enough energy to get her son back to safety, but she didn't have enough to save herself and sadly she drowned in the lake. Shortly after the incident took place, reports started to come in of a child seen by himself on a boat, and when authorities arrived on the scene, they began the search for Naya. The rescue mission took days and a lot of equipment, but her body was later found on July 13th. Naya's passing came on the exact day of fellow Glee star Cory Monty's passing, which took place seven years earlier. Fans shared an outpouring of support for the Glee star and hailed her a hero for being able to save her son. She was a successful performer and good mom, and she is so dearly missed by her friends, family, and fans. At number 9, Christopher Plummer. Canadian actor Christopher Plummer had a very long and successful career. He provided entertainment in all kinds of different mediums, from film to theater and even voice acting. Christopher first became a largely known celebrity after his role as Captain Von Trapp in The Sound of Music, and he capped off his Hollywood career by starring in the 2019 film Knives Out, this being his last performance before his passing. Christopher acted in many different genres like dramas, musicals, and even sci-fi. One of his other best known roles was as Klingon General Chang in Star Trek The Undiscovered Country. For the gamers out there, you might know Christopher for his voice acting as the leader of the Greybeards in Skyrim. This Academy Award winning actor brought so much fun and entertainment to so many people over the years, and his presence in pop culture was so steady, it almost seemed like he was ingrained in the culture. Fans were devastated to learn of his passing in February of 2021 after he suffered a fall and injured his head. The actor was 91. At number 8, Kirk Douglas. In the golden age of Hollywood, Kirk Douglas was one of the industry's biggest, brightest, and most successful stars. With over 92 acting credits, 75 of those credits being feature films, and 7 of which featured his good friend Burt Lancaster as his co-star, Douglas became a superstar in Hollywood even before people truly knew what that meant. Douglas received his very first Academy Award nomination in 1950 for his role in the film Champion. Later in 1991, Kirk was awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award from the American Film Institute, and he became a Kennedy Center honoree just a few years later in 1994. Fast forward to 1996, and Kirk was awarded an honorary Oscar for his 50 years as a creative and for his moral force in the world of filmmaking. He had an incredibly long and successful career as an actor and lived to be 103. Kirk held on even after suffering a stroke in 1996, but soon, as he got older, his health started to decrease until his passing in February 2020. Kirk died of old age, but is survived by his long and outstanding career and his mark on Hollywood. At number 7, Larry King. On January 23rd, 2021, legendary TV broadcaster Larry King passed away at the age of 87. The Emmy Award winning host passed away at Cedar sinai Hospital in LA after it was revealed to the public that he had been battling COVID-19 for 10 days prior. Larry had a long and successful career that spanned over six decades, having interviewed famous people and leaders from Martin Luther King Jr. to Vladimir Putin and so many other others in between. His show Larry King Live became the longest running show on CNN spanning from 1985 to 2010, and even after that, Larry kept working, interviewing, and listening to the stories of so many people from all sides and all walks of life. But other than being a host, he was also something of an actor, and he played himself in a couple of productions, but he also voiced the character Doris in Shrek 2. After his passing, a statement was released which celebrated his life and legacy, with part of it saying, quote, for 63 years and across the platforms of radio, television, and digital media, Leary's many thousands of interviews, awards, and global acclaim stand as a testament to his unique and lasting talent as a broadcaster." End quote. Upon the news of his passing, messages of condolences started pouring in from many of his celebrities, showing how respected he was and how he will be missed. At number 6, Sebastian Athi. Disney is probably one of the most consistent entertainment outlets around the world. No matter what part of the world you're from, you've probably become a Disney fan at some point or another. Latin American Disney Channel actor Sebastian Athi was a star in a completely different part of the world than my own, and yet we still felt the sadness that came with his sudden passing last summer. Known for his role as soccer player Lorenzo Guerva on the Argentinian Disney show Once, Sebastian was a well-loved and talented guy. Other than being a famed actor, he was also into the music scene. He was a singer, releasing music 
music as recently as 2019. He released his most recent song, Freaking Out, in July 2019, a year before his passing, and before that he released a song through Disney Channel called Play With The Heart. But before he got his big break on the Disney Channel, he got a star on a popular telenovela called La Rosa de Guadalupe, having appeared on two episodes between 2014 and 2015 as two different characters. He lived a good life, finding a lot of success until his tragic passing on July 4th, 2020, after suffering from a heart attack at the age of only 24 years old. He will be dearly missed. At number 5, DMX. On April 9th, 2021, legendary rapper and actor DMX, born Earl Simmons, passed away, leaving fans and the entertainment industry devastated. DMX, known for such hits as Get At Me Dog and X Gone Give It To Ya, passed away after suffering a major heart attack following a substance overdose this past spring. The rapper was rushed to hospital on April 2nd and stayed in critical care while fans set up a prayer vigil outside of his hospital until his passing about a week later. DMX, who was only 50 at the time of his death, made huge waves in Hollywood and in the music industry. He rose to fame in the late 90s and his 1999 album, and then there was X, went five times platinum, and he was even nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Rap Album in 2001. Other than being a legendary rapper, DMX was also an actor, having been in a handful of films like Belly and Cradle to the Grave. Upon his passing, DMX's family released a statement saying that he was a quote, warrior who fought to the very end, end quote. The statement also said, quote, he loved his family with all his heart and we cherish the times we spent with him. Earl's music inspired countless fans across the world and his iconic legacy will live on forever. We appreciate all the love and support during this incredibly difficult time." Unquote. At number 4, Alex Trebek After a long and difficult battle with pancreatic cancer, Jeopardy host Alex Trebek passed away on November 8, 2020 at the age of 80. Alex worked on the game show Jeopardy for the last 35 years and it feels as though we grew up with him. Hearing his voice on the TV in the background or watching the show is something I'm sure many of us remember experiencing. Although Alex is best known as the host of Jeopardy, he also made several cameos in different films like Spy Hard and even appeared as himself in many other productions. He was a ray of positivity until the very end. Alex shared his cancer diagnosis in March 2019, and though he continued his battle, he also continued to be the face of the game show, hosting each round and keeping his loyal fans updated on his health. It felt as though we were all fighting together. Though he was optimistic, he lost his battle last year. The Canadian legend created a worldwide family through television, and he will be missed by all. Thank you, Alex. At number 3, Regis Philbin. The longtime television and game show host Regis Philbin sadly passed away from heart disease at the age of 88 on July 24th, 2020. He was most widely known as a co host of Live with Regis and Kathy Lee starting in 1988, which became Live with Regis and Kelly in 2001. Regis also made a number of appearances in films throughout his career, appearing as himself in films like Little Nicky and Miss Congeniality 2, as well as voicing the character Mabel in Shrek the Third and Shrek Forever After. After. Upon his passing, Regis's family shared an exclusive statement with People Magazine and said, quote, His family and friends are forever grateful for the time we got to spend with him, for his warmth, for his legendary sense of humor, and his singular ability to make every day into something worth talking about. We thank his fans and admirers for their incredible support over this 60-year career and ask for privacy as we mourn his loss. End quote. At number 2, Ed Asner. Actor Ed Asner was a beloved actor who brought joy and entertainment to the masses. Some may know him from his roles in productions like The Untouchables and The Mary Tyler Moore Show, and others may know him as the man who played Santa in the movie Elf, or grumpy old man Carl from the Pixar movie Up. No matter where you knew him from, you no doubt appreciated his talent. His final few productions were Doom Patrol and Cobra Kai, so he really did bring us entertainment until the end. Ed passed away on August 29, 2021 at the age of 91. And finally, at number 1, Chadwick Boseman. Marvel's Black Panther movie is one of the company's most successful films, and for good reason. I remember when the film was first released, there were so many people going to see it, and so many people from the black community saying how they felt empowered and represented by this film. It was a big deal and made Black Panther a fan favorite. Chadwick Boseman, the actor who brought King T'Challa to life, also became an icon, so when news broke of his passing last year, fans were absolutely devastated. Chadwick passed away on August 28, 2020 at the age of 43 after a long and difficult battle with stage 4 colon cancer. Other than being cast in the MCU, Chadwick also played some other big roles such as Jackie Robinson in 42, as well as James Brown in Get On Up. His final performance was in the second episode of Marvel's What If series that was released this year, where he reprised his role of King T'Challa once one last time. His family released a statement announcing his passing, saying how hard he fought until the end. Fans found out that Chadwick was receiving treatment for his condition.
condition at the same time that he was filming Black Panther, showing us how strong he really was. Chadwick really was a king on and off screen, and it's hard to imagine the MCU without him. At number 10, Don Rickles. Back in 2017, Toy Story fans were devastated to hear of the passing of Don Rickles. Don had a long and successful career as a comedian, but what most people remember him for is his role as the voice of Mr. Potato Head in the Toy Story films. Don had been the voice of this beloved character since the very beginning, and was part of three Toy Story films before his passing at the age of 90. Don was set to take up his famous role in the newest installment of the Toy Story series, but sadly he passed away before the script was finished. When the studio was ready to begin production on Toy Story 4, they actually got in contact with Don's family and asked them if they would be willing to give them permission to use old recordings of Don's voice to bring Miss Potato Head to life one last time, to which they agreed saying, quote, he always said, keep my name alive, let them know who I am, so he would be thrilled by all of this, definitely. End quote. Toy Story 4 came out with Don's voice playing his beloved character and helping keep his legacy alive. At number 9, Marion Ramsey. Actress Marion Ramsey, best known for her time on Police Academy, passed away on January 7th, 2021, at the age of 73. According to sources, the actress passed away in her home in Los Angeles. Her agency rep, Roger Paul Inc., released a statement informing the public of her passing, saying, quote, Marion carried with her a kindness and permeating light that instantly filled up a room upon her arrival. The dimming of her light is already felt by those who knew her well. We will miss her and always love her." End quote. Marion was best known for her performance as Officer Laverne Hooks in the Police Academy film franchise, beginning with the 1984 original, and then several role reprisals over the years. She was also known as a longtime advocate for HIV and AIDS awareness, and earned a lot of respect and praise for her work in fundraising for the cause. Outside of the film industry and advocacy, she was also known for her Broadway performances in shows like Hello Dolly and Little Shop of Horrors. Before I carry on talking about the rest of these stars, I would like to take a moment to ask you guys to maybe leave a comment down below sending some love to the families of the celebrities that we've lost recently. Loss is never an easy thing, so let's send some positive energy to those affected by their loved ones passing. At number 8, Diana Rigg. Though this actress took on some pretty big and legendary roles, some of her best works came from her time playing Emma Peel in the TV series The Avengers, as well as the wife of James Bond and Elena Tyrell in Game of Thrones. Diana had a very successful career on screen, but also on stage, as she found success in the life of theater, making her broad Broadway debut back in 1971. Her life was filled with dozens of theater productions, television series, and films. But her career sadly came to an end upon her passing on September 10th, 2020. The actress passed away at the age of 82. Her daughter had reported that the actress passed away from lung cancer after being diagnosed with the disease back in March last year. At number 7, Jason Davis. If you're familiar with the Disney Channel show Recess from the late 90s slash early 2000s, then you obviously remember the character Mikey Blumberg. His character was basically the nicest kid on the playground. A lovable guy with a knack for poetry and a good heart, always being the first to forgive people. Mikey's character was voiced by actor Jason Davis for the duration of the show series as well as its spin-off movies, but sadly Jason passed away last year on February 16, 2020 at the age of 35. Other than appearing on the Disney Channel, Jason also had roles in Rush Hour, Beverly Hills Ninja, and Mafia. During his life, Jason did a lot of good for his community as he founded and dedicated himself to an organization called Cure Addiction Now. His organization's goal is to help fund research for those suffering from substance abuse and addiction, and he dedicated the year and a half before his passing to growing this organization. He brought many characters to life and dedicated his time towards helping others, achieving so many wonderful things in his life. At number 6, Deezer D. Actor Deezer D, who was best known for his role on the drama series ER, passed away this year on January 7th, 2021, at the age of just 55 years old. Deezer was a fan favorite among viewers of ER, and his role as Nurse Malik McGrath on the medical series was beloved by many, and as you would expect, fans were shocked and devastated to hear about his unexpected of passing. His brother Emery Thompson announced his passing on social media, posting the announcement of his brother's passing to his Instagram account. Reports say that Deezer was found unresponsive in his home in Los Angeles on the morning of January 7th. An official cause of death was not released to the public, however, based on information provided by one of Deezer's other brothers, it is believed that the actor passed away from a heart attack. At number 5, John Riley. John Riley had a long, successful career, but sadly, the beloved actor passed away at the age of 84 on January 10th, 2021. John began his rise to fame after playing roles on General Hospital and Beverly Hills 90210. John was originally from Chicago and he started his acting career in the 1960s with guest starring roles on Death Valley Days, Apple's Way, and Gunsmoke. In 1984, his career moved forward and he starred in six episodes of Dallas and from there he went on to portray Sean Donnelly on General Hospital for 11 years. The announcement of the actor's death came from his daughter Caitlin Riley who announced the death of her father's passing on Instagram. However, the cause of death was not disclosed. Caitlin's tribute to her father was emotional and sweet as she revealed that she made it in time to hold him and say goodbye so we know that unfortunately, the actor's passing was expected, which makes that a little more painful. At number 
four, Cameron Boyce. One of the biggest and most tragic deaths that Disney has faced recently was the passing of actor Cameron Boyce back in 2019. Cameron passed away on July 6, 2019 at the age of only 20 years old. His death came shortly before the premiere of his film Descendants 3, where he played Carlos, the son of Disney villain Cruella de Vil. Before this film, Cameron starred in other hit Disney productions like Jesse and had guest roles on Good Luck Charlie and Shake It Up as well. Cameron was a Disney fan favorite, but he was much more than that outside of the world of film and television. Cameron also loved to help people and was also a philanthropist. In 2017, Cameron helped raise over $27,000 for the Thirst Project. He aided in efforts to end homelessness. He worked closely with an organization that helped raise awareness and fight against assault on college campuses. He worked with an organization to help kids with sickle cell disease, and his final humanitarian effort was to partner with an organization to fight against gun violence. Because helping others was something that Cameron loved, his family set up an organization in his name after his passing to quote, provide young people artistic and creative outlets as alternatives to violence and negativity, and provide resources to make a positive change in the world. Cameron did a lot of good in his life and continues to be someone for people to look up to. At number three, Charlie Robinson. On July 11, 2021, actor Charlie Robinson passed away at the age of 75. Charlie had a wonderful and long career spanning over 50 years. Over that half century of work, Charlie made a name for himself, mostly thanks to his role as Mac on Night Court, which he is best known for. Sadly though, Charlie suffered from some serious health issues towards the end of his life. The actor had been diagnosed with metastatic adenocarcinoma, a type of aggressive cancer, and as a result of this and septic shock, the actor passed away from cardiac arrest and organ failure. He brought so much entertainment to so many people over the span of his career, and he and his talent will certainly not be forgotten. At number two, Stan Lee. I'm sure you all know who the legendary Stan Lee was. He was a comic book writer, editor, actor, and producer, known for his creation and involvement in so many iconic Marvel characters. He was always a storyteller as he enjoyed writing since he was a kid. He credited the books and movies from his childhood for his great success later in life. In 1939, Lee began working for a comic book publisher, which eventually evolved into the coveted Marvel comics by the 1960s. What made Stan's character so unique is how his comic book heroes had more realistic and flawed qualities in comparison to rival DC Comics. Their success skyrocketed and the Marvel Empire grew into what we know it as today. Other than creating these characters, Lee also starred alongside them for many years as he held cameos in many of the Marvel movie adaptations. For fans of the MCU, Stan's appearance was one easter egg that we all looked forward to finding. Stan Lee lived an incredibly long and successful life until his death on November 12, 2018 at the age of 95. And at number one, Michael K. Williams. After Michael K. Williams, best known for his role on The Wire, passed away on September 6, 2021 at the age of 54 after being found dead in his penthouse in Brooklyn, New York. According to sources, it is believed that Michael died of a suspected overdose. Michael became a well-known and beloved actor with the success of his time on The Wire, as well as his role on HBO's Boardwalk Empire. His most recent project, Lovecraft Country, brought him even more success as he was nominated for an Emmy Award for his work in that production as well. Upon the announcement of his death, Michael's rep issued a statement which read, quote, It is with deep sorrow that the family announces the passing of Emmy-nominated actor Michael Kenneth Williams. They ask for your privacy while grieving this unsurmountable loss. Michael was certainly taken far too soon. At number eight, Sophie. Grammy-nominated pop artist Sophie passed away suddenly at the age of 34 following an accident in Athens, Greece. A trans icon and progressive musician, Sophie was known as a visionary, some calling her a quote, pioneer of new sound and one of the most influential artists in the last decade. Sophie's debut album, Oil for Every Pearls on Insides, released in 2018, was nominated for a Grammy for Best Dance Slash Electronic Album. The news of Sophie's sudden passing shocked many of their fans as well as other celebrities, with many of them saying that Sophie was gone too soon. The artists will be remembered for their progressive music and sound and their groundbreaking individuality. And finally at number one, Prince Philip. Also on April 9th of this year, the world lost the longest serving British consort in history, His Royal Highness Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, at the age of 99. Shortly before his passing, Prince Philip was admitted to St. Bartholomew's Hospital where he underwent cardiac treatment. Prince Philip was born the Prince of Greece and Denmark on the Greek island of Corfu in 1921, but when he was 18 months old, his family left the country due to political instability and his uncle Constantine was forced to abdicate as the country's king. Years after first meeting as children in 1934, Prince Philip and Her Royal Highness Queen Elizabeth II married shortly after the end of World War II, where Prince Philip served in the British Royal Navy. By 2009, he had become the longest serving British consort and continued to stand by the Queen's side until his passing. Prince Philip officially retired from royal duties in 2017 at the age of 95 and once joked that, quote, he couldn't imagine anything worse than reaching the age of 100. His family said that Prince Philip's sense of humor was the best part about him, so the four children, eight grandchildren, and ten great grandchildren he's left 
left behind, remember him fondly.